guys, welcome to the channel. This is your boy Sunny. If you are new, please like, comment, and share. And subscribe! <laughs> hey guys. Oh. First okay. work. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Um, I hope you guys are doing fine. You're doing good too. So it's uh, almost coming to 6 p.m. and uh, the place is actually not fast. Like maybe seven minutes to walk or 10 minutes walk from uh, where I stay, or even 15 minutes to uh, call it read the. This place and pick the ball but yeah today i'm just gonna do some uh, how do you call it just some little bit of uh, uh dribbling and uh, just ball mastery because he's i don't think he's gonna train today because, uh i think he had the game yesterday so yeah but it's only gonna be me like training maybe if i find people there then we could do something a little bit different but yeah it's crazy and uh, we go. Have to pass somewhere and get some bottle of water. Because you can't train in this heat without actually taking water. So let's go. But guys, see the park. I want to show you guys around the park. One second. All these guys. Right over here, and actually, there's a park here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, there's a park down there, but for some reasons, it's not open. I think because of COVID, and it really has a nice, a nice uh, futsal court. A tough. So, if it was open, I'm not sure even how easily accessible it would be. But yeah, <sighs> let's see. So this is the streets. And actually around this um, around this park on the court people just jog around there you can see you can see some people there jogging I'll show you a bit so you can just people just jog around jogging to just keep feet and uh, all that okay, push faster. So yeah. So this is the facial code. But the reason is not open. Okay, so guys, I just met some Ugandan lady. She was actually lost. I think this was her second day here in the UAE. She came yesterday and then she was lost. She got out of her building to go, I think, meet the guy where she's supposed to work or something. And then uh, now coming back, she forgot the building. And I did still, I couldn't help to call because I still don't have a year year line. So it was crazy. But I managed to like uh, uh, get her through the call with the person that she was living with. And uh, yeah, luckily she, she got the direction, so it was okay. So I've delayed a bit to go with, go for the training, but almost there. Oh, I remember the first time I got lost in. Uh, where did I get lost from? I got lost in Malaysia after getting off the train, and I forgot where my hotel was, and it took me a long way, almost an hour, to get to my hotel. So it's crazy. I knew what she was going through. But yeah. It is what it is. Okay, guys. So um, I just called him. My friend is coming to bring for me the ball from up. I've been here waiting for like 20 minutes because I do not have a SIM card to call him. So I had to use somebody's phone to let him get over here. 
for some reasons I'm just reluctant to get a SIM card and uh, I think it's high time I get one because I can't always be uh, disturbing other people, strangers to just uh, help me get improved and it's worse when I come to places like this that don't have Wi-Fi it takes a lot of my time so yeah
Okay guys, so uh, I'm done with the training, didn't really do much, just more on the ball and the fact that I was alone, the motivation actually was a bit low, you know, so uh, yeah, I only just did what I could and my body is uh, still, uh, my body was not really fully awake or maybe not so much ready to train because I prepared to start my training by 6. But I ended up starting at 7.20 for whatever reasons. And uh, yeah, so take it from there. So I just want to keep, uh, I think tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, but I think I should be able to come again. I don't want to have like now days off because the precision with the club is starting on day 19. I don't know what day of the week that will be 19. So when the precision starts, hopefully Monday. So uh, when the precision starts, I just hope it finds me when I'm okay. Because again, fitness and uh, technique you have to combine the two. Because you can be fit, but I mean you can be uh, technically good, but if you're not fit, you can't do shit. So I try to at least do both, but I want to like uh, be 
focus more on the fitness because when I go back to the team, the team training, the team, they are going to just only focus on technique, you know, because they know, uh, how do you call it, they just want to polish you. But out here, you have to go there when you're fit and you know, compete with people, the starting 11, the 18 or whatsoever. So that's the thing. And uh, yeah, I'm not really thinking so much about it, but again, uh, the fact that I don't really have much that I'm doing right now just let me like put it into my plan so much. So yeah, it's crazy. And uh, I'm about to head back home and uh, I'll catch you guys maybe later or maybe tomorrow morning, but I don't know. So let me go finish up and uh, freshen up, have dinner and then call it a night. And again, so guys, thank you for sticking and uh, until then, goodbye now. Okay guys, so I'm uh, just back home, I'm done showering, had uh, dinner and uh, now I'm just on the laptop uh, watching this guy here, David Rowley. Oh, see, this is just trying to watch about uh, his journey and trying to learn a lot of stuff about him. You guys can check him out as well. He's one of those people that inspired me to come to Southeast Asia, to Thailand, because basically I can say I knew nothing about Thai football at the time. But when I discovered his YouTube channel, him and there was another guy called David Barrega. David Barrega is from the States, from the US, so... When I just learn, I watch his YouTube and a lot of things. And actually, it happened that I happened to work with one of the agents that knew him. And I just lied that I knew him. And then the lady called the agent lady called him was like, "Hey, David. Uh, hey, David. I'm with your friend here. He's from Africa. He just came." And David actually was nice. Was like, "Oh, how is he? Is he good? Everything like he just talked and yeah." So when I moved to Thailand, I was anyway. Unfortunately, I was able to meet him and um, yeah. But he was, he's re he really inspired me in a way, you know, his journey was really, really very amazing and uh, I never get tired of watching his videos. So, yeah, I mean, you can never know what, uh, uh, who your content is inspiring, even if it's one person, it just means a lot. And I'm really feeling bad that uh, he has stopped uploading the kind of videos he used to upload, probably because the season is ongoing and uh, he's too busy with the training and ETC. So I'm not seeing much of his, uh, how do you call it, much of the videos. He barely posted, maybe can go a month without posting anything. So, And I was one of his big fans. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, so this is just, that was just it for today. And uh, right now I'm going to just have a little bit of, uh, do some stuff on the computer or just do some editing. And then uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, but for now, it's a goodbye. And you guys, I want to let you guys know that please, let's keep growing the channel. Subscribe, share, comment, and just do what's needful, yeah? So, until then, it's a goodbye.